I'm Trisha Keen. Right now on your 13 Action News update, another deadly crash in North Las Vegas. Police say a man walking into oncoming traffic at Las Vegas Boulevard in Lake Mead and was struck by a truck. He was in the crosswalk, but against the light. And we will bring you the latest updates online on this story at KTNV.com. Police now revealing they found the suspected gunman of the Shanghai Taste shooting thanks to hospital staff. According to court documents, police say Rashawn Gaston Anderson was treated for injuries to his hand on December 20th, just hours after he allegedly shot a waiter at Shanghai Taste. The hospital staff recognized him on the news. The victim was found with his wallet full of $100 bills and a phone. He told police he believes Anderson was asking for money before he opened fire. All Nevada counties are now listed at high risk of transmission, meaning everyone must wear a mask in indoor settings regardless of vaccination. The Nevada Health Response making that announcement today. Officials say the number of cases remain high of COVID-19 across the state with the current Omicron surge. For the mask restrictions to lessen, counties need to remain at low or moderate transmission for two weeks in a row. Temperatures are down and wind speeds are up tonight behind the cold front that cleared out the cloud cover earlier. After dinner time, temperatures are already in the upper 40s and you'll notice the breeze overnight into tomorrow morning. Today's breezy wind turns downright gusty tomorrow. Wind advisory going into effect for all of southern Nevada in the morning, lasting through Wednesday evening. Gust to 50 miles per hour possible in the Las Vegas Valley. Gust to 60 miles per hour possible in the Colorado River Valley. That creates dangerous conditions on area roadways. And in addition to the wind, a drastic drop in temperature highs are capped in the upper 40s on Wednesday. You can get the latest news at KTNV.com.